Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Let God mercy, let his grace overpower you in your life for you to fulfill the things that he is asking, that he is requiring of us all. Blessed be the God of Israel for he is worthy. Now, family, I'm back, family. I'm back on my sanctioned, anointed time. And before we get into ministering and preaching for this day of his holy scriptures, I just had to read a little bit of something. Now, before we get into ministering, I would like to say this. The small acts of kindness should bring you so much joy inside of your life, family. Out of all our great accomplishments, either getting the job or getting the wife, getting the husband, having the kids, buying the car, um, finishing all your time in college, you know what I'm saying? Those are great accomplishments for anybody, family, and that is good. You should feel a sense of thanksgiving when you accomplish these things. This is true, family, this is true. But when you are out in the midst of the world and your, your glad heart, your sweetness, your love kindliness keeps you more, can I say, more reassured or more happy or more satisfied than other people. Your God would want you to remember the kind acts that you have done for another person. Bring them into remembrance that you, my brother, that you, my sister, you assisted those people. You came out of your kind heart, out of your sweetness to go and help those that needed help, family. It's a beautiful thing. What did your brother, what did your brother gospel of is, is truth all the time, family? You only got a couple seconds to do a good deed. You only got a couple seconds. When a good deed comes about, family, and it's time for you to act, remember, we are judged on these things, family. Did you act? Did you unact? Did you help? Did you not care? We are judged on these things. God has placed you in a certain circumstances of situations of times and places to assist other people. That's why he says, when you see my child, the kingdom of God has been upon you. That was the kingdom of God being used through you to help that little old lady cross the street. The kingdom of God help you push the old man car to the side of the road when the people were lost and they didn't know where to go. It was the kingdom of God through you, my brother, through you, my sister, that directed those people in the way that they were supposed to go. It's a beautiful thing when you can be used by God not to be misled, not to be misused, but to be used by his highest. I want you to bring in remembrance all the things that you can remember, because I know a lot of y'all, y'all do so much good in the world that it's kind of hard to remember every single thing that you have done for a person. But those those small things, those big things, those things that come to your mind of when you help, I want you to bring forth these things to your God. These same kind acts. The sweetness that is found in a man, the sweetness that is found in a woman to assist somebody out there in the world should bring so much joy to your heart. So don't hesitate, my brother. Don't hesitate, my sister. You only have a couple seconds to do a good deed. If you think too long, you thought too long, family. Now your chance has just been blown to the wind. The riches, all of the blessings and the great favor that would be rendered unto you if you only enact in those couple of seconds of showing forth God's kingdom on this earth through the vessel of you, my brother, through the vessel of you, my sister, these same small kind acts should bring so much joy to a man or a woman, your self-worth and your being. After you do good deeds, family, you should feel good about yourself. 
You should feel as if you bought a car, family. You should feel as if you bought a home, family. You should feel as if you accomplished some great milestone in your life just by reaching out your hands to help that other person. The kingdom of God has been upon you this whole time. That's why you feel it in your heart. That's why you want to go out there and help. Don't blow your blessings, family. And remember, these things, your God wants to be reminded. It could be something small. Example, I was at the store the other day and I was walking through the aisle. I was in the can aisle. And I, as I was walking by this old, this older woman, I told her hello. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very cordial, family. I'm very, I'm very modest, family. I have a loving heart, so it's not, it's not against the law to speak. It's not against the law to love. It's not against the law to try to be kind to someone. So you know me, I'm going about my own business, and the old lady, she said, she said, excuse me. But I thought she was just saying hello and whatever. She probably didn't say excuse. Well, she did say excuse me. She said excuse me and I, I would just keep on walking. Then she said excuse me like three more times. Then I got it. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I was like, oh, this lady, she need help right here. She was all like, can you reach that? Uh, uh, Can you reach? Family, I'm only 5'9". Can you reach at the top and get and get that green can of spinach from me? It was something green. I don't remember what it was. But family, I, I reached up there and I grabbed the can of spinach for the old lady. And just by her asking me something and me, for me to take the time and the day to help her made me feel good. That lady in that store, I'm only 5'9", family. That lady made me feel like I was six feet, six feet tall, family. All the, for the rest, I kid you not, brother, you know what I'm saying? I kid you not, man. I was walking around with my head up, with my chest out, family. I was feeling good, family, after that. That lady made me feel so damn tall in that store, family. And she was only probably like 4'11", 5'1". She really couldn't reach it. She really needed help, family. But in the act of sweetness, family, in the act of kindness, family, that lady alone, with her asking me to do something for her made me feel good, family. And it's the same good feeling that your God wants you to feel, family. These people, they don't want to help nobody, family. These people don't want to come out of their pocket. These people don't want to assist nobody. So they walk around with that drudge look on their face so sad and so depressing, all the days of their life filled with madness. Look at their face, family. They ain't never did nothing good for nobody. Every single day they got to look like that. Every single time you didn't look at them, that's what you saw in them because they're not doing anything good, family. I'm only 5'9". That lady made me feel like I was 6'3", family. I kid you not. I feel good all day about just a small act of kindness. These are the same things that your God wants to be reminded the ability of his child to give, to love, to be kind, to be sweet, to stand upright, to be fair, to show no partialities to no one, family. I have to say it again, to show no partialities to no one, family, to give everybody the same chance of kindness, of sweetness, of love, of a gentle, meek spirit to give unto others. This is how we know the kingdom of God was upon that lady in the store. Anytime you willing to help somebody, the kingdom of God is on that person, family. So the best thing that I can say for anyone, family, all your the people that are depressed and the people that are sad and the people that's going through it, family, that's going through it, that's got some problems. The best thing that they can do, the best thing anybody can ever do, family, is to be humble and try to help another person. Them people ain't going to help nobody. You try to help them people, they're going to look crazy all up in your face. Why is that? Because they're living to please the world. Whatever the statues of the world is telling them to dictate on how they treat other people is ingrained inside of that person, of the unique individual person that they are never willing to give, never willing to be kind and show forth love to another person without any biases, 
with with any um feeling oh oh i did this for you sister now you're gonna have to give me five dollars oh mister i helped you with this so you're gonna have to help me with that uh-uh god is gonna help us family god is gonna help us the mighty just one of israel is gonna help us with any problem we are ever single had while those people up over there that choose to do wicked and their days will be filled with so much sorrow which is a promise from his highest. Okay, we can go ahead and get into this. Okay, before, let me find my place. Before uh, we get into ministering and family, I promise I won't even keep you. I won't keep you that long. Oh, you sure Israel? Last time, you was brother, yeah, Israel. Last time you was preaching brothers, it was seven o'clock, and by the time you closed your mouth, it was 10.30 at night time. Damn, Israel, damn, Israel. You know how the word, the word is, family. It's precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little bit, there a little bit, family. I'm not going to jam-pack you with all these scriptures like that, but I'm going to give you enough to punch the devil right in the throat. I'm going to give you enough to look them unclean, familiar spirits, monitoring spirits and demons and little devils in their eyes so they can run. If you see the if you see the devil coming, he can't hide from you, family. If you know what the devil said, you know what he going to do, family. He's sitting up there telling you all the things, family, that he cannot do, family. He lying to you. I'm going to kill you. Husk, husk, it's the devil. It's the devil. Oh, come, come here, Tim. I'm going uh, to make sure your wife leave you. He ain't got no power to make Tim life wife leave you. Shabika, 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 I'm going to get you fired on the job, girl. He ain't got no power to get Shamika fired on the job. Oh, Billy, oh, Billy, oh, Billy, I'm going to make sure you go to the hospital when they're going to tell you something bad. He ain't got no power on Billy, on what's the ins and the outs on his health. Your God. The mighty just one of Israel has the first and the last say on anything that will happen down to us on this earth. And the more we are willing to give into the sweetness, as long as we able to be meek, family. What did he say, family? What did he say, family? The meek will inherit the earth, family. That is a promise from the Most High Yah. And it's one thing that you will find out about God is that he don't lie. And you better be careful what he what you ask him for. If you're willing to endure, if you yourself are ready for whatever it is, remember, he will never keep no goodness back from a child of the Most High Yah. So look at these things in this world. Look at all the tangible things that you would like to have. And if you will meet yourself before your God. There is nothing that he will keep good from his child. Nothing, family. But you have to remember, what are you asking? Are you yourself able to be able to handle what you are asking for? So we have to look in on the inner man and on the inner woman on what we're asking of God. The devil be sitting up over there lying, fearing. God, he, family, family. What are you going to do here? Ring, 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 ring. Oh, Billy, it's the devil. It's the, it's, it's the devil. I'm going to run you over today in the streets when you ride your bike. He has no power, family. He has no power. But we as, we as people, we as mere mortals upon this earth, we hear things and we fear, family. I'm not saying that any of us is timid. But when you got that coward snake sitting up over there and he keep on telling you the same thing over and over and over. He got that, he got that thing going. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it, family. It worked on Shamika last time. If she don't get her stuff together, it's going to work on her again. If, if Mike don't get his stuff together... The same lies that the devil used against him last time will work all over again. The devil will always come to you with a lie because he has no power. Remember that, my brothers. Remember that, my sisters. All of my prophets and my prophetess, my priest and my priestess, my kings and my queens. Remember the tools of the adversaries of the evil one. Remember how he manifests himself in your life and the things that he go, he go after because he ain't going to stop on that. That's the only way he can reach you. 
ding, 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 ding. Did you get it? You know what I'm saying? That's the only way he can reach you. Those other things don't work on you because you're too strong of a child. You're just too strong. You know what I'm saying? The devil starts shooting all his spear. Shoom, 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 shoom. It just fall right off of you because when you got up this morning, Tom, you put on the full armor of your God trying to go outside, trying to love on people, trying to be right, trying to shoo away evil. The, the armor of God, being true to your God. All of these things are applied when we're willing to live the life that he wants us to live by being good people, good individuals in our own lives, family. When when nobody is watching, who are you? You know what I'm saying? When nobody's looking, who are you? Are you that same person? When the eye is on you, you're going to do the same thing because I am. And me and your brothers and sisters, we are family. We're going to do it today. We're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to do it if you're looking, if you're not looking, if it wasn't so popular, if it is popular, we don't care. We know what our God is asking of us, especially when he placed something in our heart, family. That's all the motivation you need. You don't really need no more motivation after that, after you put it in your heart. Look at me, family. I don't, to be honest with you, family, I don't even want to be here today, family. I don't, family. I don't want to preach today, family, but all your God has to tell me is one time, I need you to get over there and get in the, the, the house that God has made, and I want you to gospel the spirit to your, your brothers and your sisters out there that need just a little bit more strength. That's what he told me today, family. You know what, you know what else your God told me? To get personal with your brother Israel. I kept on family for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've been, I've been, family... Shame on me, family. Shame. Shame on me, family. But for the last month or so, I've been stressing off of money, family. I've just been stressing. I've been stressing like a mug. Yo, God, he told me. He said, I don't want you stressing off of money. That don't stop me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man. I'm a mere mortal, family. Born in the flesh, family. Before I even came forth out of my mother's matrix, I was a sinner and I was in trouble and I was going to have some problems, family. We're not perfect, family, but all we have to do is be good, family. Can't be perfect. All we got to do is be good. So all that week in prayer, family, I was bringing it up to him, bringing it up to him, bringing it up to him. Oh, Father, uh, let me have enough money, yeah. Oh, please, yeah, let me have enough money to pay the water bill. Oh, yeah, God, 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 yeah, yeah, please let me have enough money to pay the P&G bill, yeah, 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 let me have enough money to buy some groceries for myself, yeah, you know what y'all told me, family, he told me, he said, I told you the first time, don't stress off of money, I'm not going to be with you with you stressing off of money like that, he told me he ain't even going to stress with me, family, what kind of God do you serve, family? You know what I'm saying? He just plain out told me. I'm sitting up there. I'm stressing off of money. I'm like, man, how am I going to get this money to pay this? I, I, I need the Wi-Fi. I need, I need the cell phone. You know what I'm saying? I believe. And then your God come along and say, don't, don't stress off of money. Then he turn around weeks later after I done stressed out. He said, I'm not going to be up over there stressing with you with this money. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So that lets me know personally that I don't need to be stressing over money. That lets me know personally that my God is going to be with me no matter what, family. No matter where I'm at. He's going to be with you wherever you at, brother. He's going to be wherever you at, sister. He's going to be with you through all your problems, through all your situations. It's a damn shame. The wicked has promised so much sorrow in their life. But you yourself, you choose to look towards the, his brightness of his radiance of his glory to do what is right. And he has promised to help you with every single problem. One problem, Jehoshaphat? No, brother. Every single problem. Jehoshaphat, is, is, is he going to help me with two problems? No, sister. He's going to help you with all of them. Every single last one that you have. And that's a reassurance, family. They be sitting up over there telling you, oh, you need to spend $20 so you can get this coverage. Oh, you need to spend $25 more dollars so you can get a little bit more insurance. God is the great insurance, family. He, it, it's, a, it's a reason why they call him the great comforter. Because he is the great, the greatest counselor that any man or any woman I have. All them problems, he's going to counsel you through it. When the problems happen, he's going to do something about it. Family, throw your hands in the air for you have just been blessed by the Most High, Yah himself. He's going to do something about it, family. 
You know, you call me on the phone, family. And I just tell you what you need to do, family. Your God is going to do something about it. Can I get a hallelujah for his glory? Can I get a hallelujah for his mercy? And some of my brothers are like, damn, Jehoshaphat, damn, Jehoshaphat's belly Monday. Where you get this spirit at? It comes directly from your father. I told you I was depleted. I didn't even want to be here. But when he told me to do something and he keep on, I tell him too, I'll be like, God, well, you know, if, if that's what you want me to do, please remind me again. And he's going to keep on reminding you because that is what he is asking of you. You only got a couple seconds to do a good deed. What you going to do, brother? What you going to do, sister? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See? You see? You see? You messed up, sister. You took too damn long to think about it. Do it, family. You, you got to put your body in an automatic mode, family, to where as soon as you see somebody who needs some help, you need to slide on over there, brother. Sister. As soon as you see that they need some help, you need to slide on over there and go help them people. I'm telling you, it's going to add up a whole lot. Family, as I look at it, family, I'm, I'm just looking. I'm waiting, family. I'll be, I'll be everywhere, family. I'm trying to tell you on my own core, family. I'll be just waiting. I'll be looking. You need some help. You need some. Nah, Jehoshaphat, we got it. We good, brother. We got it. Sir, 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 you need some help. Nah, but damn, damn, boy, damn. Nah, I got it. I'm all right. I'll be on them, family. I'll be on them, family. It makes my day, family. It really does, family. And those same things are where we help. I'm telling you, your God, he wants to be reminded. Okay, let's go ahead and get into scripture for this day. Let me read a little bit, and then we'll get into ministering and preaching of this word. They looked it up unto him and were enlightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that feared him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no one there is no wants to them that fear him. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want anything good. Come ye ch children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see God? Keep thou tongue from evil and thou lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cries. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry. And the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is the Lord is night unto them, evildoers. Neither be the envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herbs. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thou self also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth the righteous as the light, and thou judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thou self because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and for, forsake wrath. Fret not thou self in any ways to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. 
for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Ye thou shall delight, consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The weak, the wicked plotteth against the just, and gushed upon with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at them, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of righteous contravation. Their swords shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A, a little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of, of, of the many of wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Now, family, I have to read that, family. That's beautiful, family. All of those are promises, family. Line by line, family. Didn't your God say he delight in you? Didn't he say to take rest in you? Didn't he tell you to don't be out there acting a damn fool trying to give in to those, that wicked, family? Didn't he say, family, that all the evildoers will be cut down to a knot? You can go over there trying to look for them and you're not going to find them. Didn't he say if you're meek that he will give you extra life, family, upon this earth? Didn't he say that the wicked that plot against you, that the Lord will destroy? Those are all promises, family. Those are all promises. And we were, I was reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse, uh, what is this? Ch no, it's, yeah, it's chapter 37, verse 1. Now, I just want you to, if you have to, go back over it again, family. But those are all promises promised to you in your life. If you can only act heed, if you can only be obedient, if you can only resist yourself. And resisting yourself is to do evil, family. If you can resist, remember, your body is, is sin, family. Your whole body, family, that, that skin husk of a human, of a person that you call yourself is sin, family. Whatever that body wants to do is not good, family. You know what I'm saying? So to follow God is to resist yourself, family. To follow after God is to condemn your own self and don't give in to your fleshly desires. What do you mean, Jehosa? Your flesh want to go out there cheating. Okay, I got it, Jehosa. Your flesh want to go over there stealing. Okay, I got it, Jehosa. Yo, yo flesh want to have sex with all of the women. Okay, okay, damn, Jehosa, I got it. Okay, resist. My flesh, my flesh is sin. It's not, it's not all you, brother. It's not, it's not all you, sister. What you mean? Jehosa, what you mean? I mean, it's not all you all the time like that, sister. We, we fight in the mental against our sin. Them people out there, they fighting against their flesh, family. They really is. We can take the battle up to our head and we're not going to give in to our body like that. Our body want to do all kind of stuff, family. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't. You a sinner, family. Your body is a sinner, family. And you're attached to that sin because your body wants to go out there and do all of that. Your body want to go out lying, cheating, stealing, gambling, having sex, doing drugs, beating up people. You know what I'm saying? Doing all of that stuff, being rude and crude and mean to people. Your, your body, family, your body, that is not you, family. It's not you. Don't, I'm not sitting here saying that you don't have certain temptations and certain follies that it is inside of your head that you are fighting with every single day. But your, your body is, is your worst enemy because it wants to give in to every single thing in this world that goes contrary to your God, family. So you are the biggest enemy. Your body is, family. That's what you're fighting, family. It's, it doesn't have to be you all the time, family. That's what they be getting it messed up at. They be like, it be me. I'll be. They be sitting over there beating themselves down. I'm so wicked. I'm so weak. No, brother. It's your body. It's, it's, it's your body. That's what's wanting all that stuff like that. Okay, last time we was here in the house that God has made, the last one that we went over, what is more important in your life? People who seek good who speak good of yours, of your name, are fine? Or do you want 
fine jewelry, clothing, fortune, and fame. Okay, we covered that one. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Loving favor rather than silver and gold. Family is true, family. It, it is true. You want them people talking good about you. And when the other people come along trying to talk bad on you, they be like, nah, nah, nah. That ain't my brother right there with you talking bad. That ain't my sister. Nah, 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 nah. That's not my sister right there. I don't know what you talking about. Now, the, uh. The the loving the loving favor you need God favor on your life family or it's gonna get hard family them people they live the hardest lives family don't you see it all on their face I see it Joe Jose I see it sister don't you see it on their body you know what I'm saying their lives are so hard because they don't have none of the favor of God with them so their life is seven times more harder than what your life is family and. I'll be a damn lie to sit before you today and tell you that life ain't hard. But just imagine how, ooh, I rebuke myself on that one. Just imagine how hard it would be if God wasn't in your life. Family. Them people are punching the bricks. Them people are going through it, family. They going through it, family. They, re they reach out their hand. Help, help, help me, Jehovah, Lord of hosts. Did, did he see him? Is his ears open? Is his hand outstretched, family? Is his I help Jehovah help me help Lord? It's so hard. But they he ain't hearing them, family, because they didn't had all them years of their life that they they want to party and they want to do their own thing and they they thought he was ridiculous, family. They thought his plan wasn't good enough. But when the S H I T hit the fan, then they want to throw their hands up. Oh Jehovah, help me, yeah, please. He didn't even hear him, family. This is what it sounds like to him. Oh, Jehovah, help me. Did you hear something, Jesus? No, I didn't hear nothing, Father. Oh, Jehovah, help me. Down here on this. Earth. Oh, Jehovah, yeah, Lord, host, please, yeah, please help me, Lord. Down in heaven, back in heaven. Oh, Jehovah, yeah, please help me. See what your sin does, family? It cuts you off, family. Your sin, you giving into your own flesh, going out there acting and being and talking and being like the world is, all them damn demons and red dragons and familiar spirits and monitoring spirits and, and, and snakes and barracudas and hyenas and jackals and wolves out there in the world, family. They want to they wanna look like that, family. And your brother, I tell you all the time, family, this comes with a price. You know how you know, you know how you know you saved, you are hated in this world. That's what God said. The, Yahshua, he said, if, you, if, they, if they hate you, they hated me first. You know what I'm saying? They hated him first. They hated him. That, that should show you, you love him, so they're going to hate you too. How do you know that you have been redeemed? How do you know if you've been set free? This world can't stand you, family. You stick out, family. You're always attacked. You're always going through something with these people because they don't understand the love that you have. They don't understand the integrity that you carry. They don't understand the sweetness that is found in your heart for the love of your God, family. You, you stick out, family. You stick out and you're persecuted. And all them people that sit up there and try to gang up on you. And then your God, he going to come down with his rod and his staff. What are you going to do to him, family? He going to kill him. He going to make him sick. He going to make him blind. He going to break their arms. He going to break their legs. They going to get into an accident. What's going to happen to him, family? They got theirs coming, family. Everybody got something coming from God, either from the good or for the worse. That's why your brother telling you, stack up your riches. Stack up your riches. Stack up your riches down here. Stack up your riches. Jehosa, I heard you. Good plan, Jehosa. I, I got to, family. The spirit in me. Stack up your riches. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Stack up your riches down here on this earth. What? What'd you say? What What did he say? Stack up your riches down here on the earth. I'm like, damn, Jehosa. <laughs> you like, damn, Jehosa. Stack up your riches. And all later on tonight, you, you're going to be at work. There ain't going to be nobody around. You're going to make the same noise I said with my same voice. Stack up your riches down here on the earth. Good plan, Jehosa. Good plan, Jehosa. Oh, okay, I'll go. Good plan. Stack up your riches. <laughs> <laughs> it brings me joy. Hallelujah. 
for his glory. Hallelujah for his mercy. Hallelujah for his will, for he is a worthy God. And there is none other, family. There is none other, family. Okay, let's go ahead and get into ministering for today. I promise. Family, is y'all going to come to the 9 o'clock prayer hour? I was thinking about it, Jehoshaphat. I was thinking about it. Oh, you know, Jehoshaphat, you know, I got to cook dinner for the kids. But you don't even have to be down on your knees, family. I already told you, family, this intimate relationship is you constantly in prayer. And sometimes just talking to God is praying to God. Because you're letting him in. You're letting him in. I'm like, God, lead Jehoshaphat. I, I, I told y'all, family, you couldn't imagine me if I had my own church, family. I'd be I set that bug on fire with the Holy Spirit, family. Family, you'll come in dirty, family. You'll come out clean. Don't play with me, family. Don't play with me, family. You gotta let him come in. Separate yourself, family. Separate yourself, family. Separate myself from what? That damn evil, family, that keep on looking around you, around the damn corner. I told you, brother, you got to you gotta look for the evil. You got to be looking for the devil. He know I ain't playing, family. He know I'm not playing with him. Like, I've been fighting the devil for over 37 years. Let me go ahead and put the spin on it. I've been fighting the devil for 40 years of my life, and I still got more life in me, family. I be looking, family. I go off the, I go off the house. The angels, they take a break, family. My guardian angels, they be like, damn, Jehosa is really, I'll be looking high, I'll be looking low, I'll be looking down the street, family. I don't, don't trust nobody, family. Don't trust, even if they come in with the good brother, oh, God is good. Don't, don't even trust them. Don't even trust me, family. You know, family, the people who you, who are faithful, family, you know who to trust, family. Be on the lookout for, for the devil. The devil be like, ah, damn it, damn it, hush them. He got his binoculars out. He looking, he looking. Hey, he see me behind. Hush, hey, he see me behind the bushes. I was hiding, yeah, I was hiding. I didn't think Jehovah would see me. He got a damn flashlight. Jehovah, what you doing with that damn flashlight? Well, I'll be looking, family. I'll be looking high. I'll be looking low. Family, before he even get five meters from me, I already know the game that he trying to kick right off. Get 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 gone! I rebuke you, said. Stand behind me, said. Oh damn it! Oh damn it, damn it! He said, stand behind me. Who you think it is, Jesus? Oh, brother, now I gotta stand behind him. The damn Hebrew the was gonna tell me what to do. We have power to tread over the snake family, to stomp him down under our foot. That is the power that was given to us by our God. Use the abilities and the gifts that your God has already given to you, family. I'm not playing with the devil no more in my lifetime, family. But sometimes, family, I get weary, family, and I gotta, I gotta go to Jehovah. Oh, mighty Jehovah. Oh, my, the, the devil, he hit me in the eye. What you say, what you say? What did you say, Jehovah? What did you say, Jehosa? Yeah, the devil even choking me. Oh, hell no. And then I start praying like that. I don't see the devil for a whole week. What did God do to him? <laughs> what did the Lord hold you? You down there messing with my child again? I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled off his belt, family, and whooped the devil, family, over you, brother. Jehosa, God will whoop the devil over me. He'll bust him right in the mouth. He will, family. He will choke him all the way out, family. Put his hands all up on him. Ball him up like a piece of trash and send him right back down to the earth. Over you, sister, if you're willing to abide by his statutes, his laws, his limitations, his commandments. You know what your Lord say. He said it all the time, family. If you love me, family, you will love your God with all your heart, your mind, your spirit, your strength, and your soul, family. What Jesus say? It's so many different people that. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! I'm the Lord of the. Depart! Depart from me, you workers of iniquity! Family, uh-uh, family, uh-uh. Family, this the last days, family. I don't know if you know in this family. I feel so sorry for my people because he's gonna wipe a third of us off the face of the earth, and these are all the people you see messing up all the time. Family, just keep on messing up. Hey. And messing up today, messing up tomorrow, messing up next week. Some of the people you look up and you be like, damn, are you ever going to grow up, you 45-year-old man? Nope. Tell you right in your face. Nope, I'm not going to grow up. Uh, uh, oh, you ever going to be mature, my sister? 
No, no, I'm not. See, see, you see, you see. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, some people can never give Yah. Oh, no, no, we did that one. We did that one. We did that one. That was like last week or the last time I was here in the sanctuary. Okay, let's go back up. I only got one. Pa- Don't hurt me, Joseph. Don't hurt me now, Joseph. Don't hurt me, brother. Don't hurt me. Last time you gave me the description, and I really had to think, Joseph. What was I doing wrong, Joe? But I got it right, Joseph. I got it right, Joseph. All right, brother, we gonna see, family. Sometimes, family, you gotta, you gotta put the Bible down and live it, family. Okay, who that lives can look down on you as if they are better. Who, family? Who can look down? And now we're gonna tell you what judging, what it means. So many different people, they they so scared the damn judge because they didn't went somewhere and somebody then gave them the wrong information. See, family, I came to give you the truth, family. And if you can't deal, if it's too damn hot, then you need to get your butt out the kitchen. I came to give you the real, family. I came to feed you. And then I came to abolish all them lies of all those saying you heard it. But you didn't get the proper saying. You didn't get, I can't even say the proper interpretation of it. You didn't get the proper saying of what the meaning of what you've been saying for so long. All them people up over there, I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge. God said not to judge. But why, family? You will be, what did he say, family? You will be measured by the judgment in which you use. This is true. I'm not scared to judge nobody, family, at all, family. Why is that, Jehoshaphat? Because I don't think I'm better than them. You can stand me up to a man that got a million dollars hanging out of his pocket and I tell him fast in a hurry, you are not better than me. You can place me next to uh, a, a transient person that lives out in the street that, that reek all the way up to high heaven and all down the street. And I look you directly in your face and I tell you, I'm not better than that man or better than that woman. I am not. Why is that? Because I'm not going to judge them, family. For me to judge them means that I'm going to sit up there and tell that man that got a million dollars. He got the big dollar family. He got the monies family. And tell that man, oh, sir, you got a million dollars. You better than me. No, he ain't. You know what I'm saying? No, he ain't. But flip it on a strip. I'm not better than that man either. You know what I'm saying? I'm not better than him. Whatever I got going on, family, I'm not better than him. And he's not better than me. Them two people sleeping on the mattress, family, out in the wilderness. I am not better than them, family. Just because I got a car that I'm better than them, just because I, I got money that I'm better than them, just because I'm working. No, family, no, family, I am not. This is what judging means to look down on someone as if you are better than that person. OK, what does the scripture have to say about it? The rich and the poor have have this in common. The Lord is their maker. Can't judge anybody, family. God made all of us family. God breathed in life in all of us family. So who am I to say that the brother in prison for 10 years, I'm better than him. No, I'm not. Okay. The, the man sitting up over there and he got $1.5 billion just because he can buy anything. And just because he got a little money. Well, that's a whole lot of money. He got the big dollar. Uh, he got the money, his family. He got the bag, family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's still not better than me, family. But so many different people get discouraged and they, they be kind of lost, family. I don't want to say that they're dumbfounded, but they be lost, family, and they don't know what the scripture mean. What did, this, what did God say? The rich and the poor have something in common. The Lord is their maker. Ain't nobody better than you, brother. Ain't nobody better than you, sister. Brother, hey, you're not better than nobody. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I know I seen your little jewelry. I seen your brand new car. You, the brother riding the bicycle. You're not better than him. Sister, you just got your nails done, your head. You look good, girl. You, you look good. You look, you, you look, you smell good too. You know what I'm saying? You, you're shining, girl. But just because that girl got raggedy clothes on don't mean you better than them. This is the meaning of what judging means, family. Don't be lied to. Don't be duped. Don't be deceived, family. We are, we are not better than nobody, and there is nobody that is better than us. Can I get a hallelujah? We all equal down here, family. Family, they have it today. They don't have it tomorrow. You don't have it today, but you have it tomorrow. We are all equal down here. 
on this earth in God's eyes, family. Okay, I feel very comfortable once more again. To judge someone is to think that you are better than than them. Any one of, I'm sorry, they are, and to think that they are beneath you. What did the scripture said? The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is their maker. What is today? The 26th? Okay, 326. 24 family throw your hands in the air your god is good he let you see 24 family if you only knew how many different people did not make it out of 2023 20, 2022 20, 20, he just had a pandemic and a gang of people lost their lives family we made it family and he's given us life so what does that tell you we have to shun evil family just like joe family and we gotta rush to do what is good family we have to continue, family, to believe in him, to love him, to be obedient to him, to worship him, to praise him all the days of our life, family. Okay, I feel very comfortable on how I ministered over that. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit because I've already been carrying four for 45 minutes. Good God. Okay, a good man or woman are not supposed to entangle or be in places evil rest. Family, light don't mix with darkness, family. Good don't be hanging around evil, family. You hanging around them evil people and God is going to punish them. He going to punish you too, family. You going to get caught up. He going to pull that He going to pull that wig right off of your damn head, you know what I'm saying? That whoosh. Oh, my wig. See, you see, you see, she was over there trying to fit in with the crowd. He was over there trying to fit in with the crowd. God, beat him down, family. My brother limping back home, family. All he had to do was stay home. All he had to do was stay away from them people. We are not supposed to mix ourselves with evil people. You know, your brother Israel, I test the spirit, family. I really do. And. You know, from the abundance of the heart, it speaks, family. Whatever that man or that woman think of who the hell they think they are is going to come out of their mouth. Any evil entanglement, entanglement, entrapment that they have for me is going to come out their mouth. I'm going to check their spirit, family. As soon as they start talking all that evil talk, I get away from people, family. I'll be like, uh-uh. This brother up over here, all he talk about is negative, 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 negative. I'm the positive. I'm out, family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, light doesn't attract dark. You, you seen, family, you seen the, uh, you should be like the batteries, family. You should, family. You know how you get a, you get a, a, a magnet, family, and you flip one on the other side, and then you flip the other one, and then you try to push them together, and, and it'll never come together. That's how we supposed to be towards evil, family. Test their spirits, family. Test their fruit, family. What they be doing, family. You don't need to be around none of that, family. Some bad things is going to happen to you, brother, if you don't listen to me. What, Jehosa? What you say? How you going to tell me what to do and how to live? My brother, I love you, brother. And I don't want to see you in trouble. And I don't want to see you beat, family, up in them streets like that. I, I had my back beat, family. I've been beat, choked, all of it, set on fire, kicked down the stairs, ran over, hit with a dump truck. I had all those things happen to me. I don't want that to replay to my brothers out there and especially my younger brothers and my younger sisters out there. If you are heed to my voice, don't be going over there. I know that's your brother. I know that's your cousin, but light don't mix with darkness, family. Good don't be kicking it with evil, family, at all. Have you ever seen a poor person hanging with a rich person? Same thing, family. Have you ever seen a sick person hanging with somebody that's healed, family? Same thing, family. Have you ever seen somebody starving hanging with somebody who's full? Same thing, family. Okay, what does scripture have to say about it? Okay, I said a good man or woman are not supposed to entangle or be in places evil rest. They houses, the uh, the clubs they go to, and anywhere the parks they hang out, family, any social type of atmosphere that they are be around. You know that group, family, and you know what they about. Did you test the spirit, family? Did you test the fruit, family? Did you hear the debauchery words of defilements that was so grotesque and a complete abomination coming out of their mouth, family? Did you hear that? 
then you should know what lies in that person. You should know what type of individual that they are. I don't know who I'm scared of judging, brother. I don't know if it's too many years. Don't judge. I don't know what's good. I don't know what's evil. I don't know what's bad. I don't know. No, I don't know. Well, brother, you're going to be in bad shape. Girl, girl, you're going to be in some bad shape going up over there messing with them hoochie mamas and them chicken heads. Brother, you going around there hanging around with them thugs and them gangsters and them street people. You going to be in trouble, brother. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right, family. The only thing that I, the last time I checked, the only thing that on the back of the evil has got, whipping them down, family, whipping them down, family, beating them down into the dust. Okay, what does scripture have to say about it? A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. You see, family, you can get it too, brother. You can get it too. Okay, they, they're they evil and they're wicked. So they're going to do something to you because you're not like them. But whatever the judgment that God has on those people, he's going to enact those same principles on you because you are around those people, family. What did the scripture say, family? Evil communication destroys good communication. Okay, I per, I've said it per se. But you know what that means, family. The more you hang around them evil people is the more evil that you're going to be, family. It's going to kill all of the sweetness, all the kindness, all the meekness, all of the integrity that you possess. Just by you hanging around them people like that, brother. Just by you hanging around them people, my sister. So you, what, is, what does scripture have to say? A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. Ain't nothing wrong with hiding, family. It ain't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hide from evil. I'm going to pass right by and have them wicked people beat me, Joseph. Oh, well, you stupid. You know what I'm saying? You are a damn fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be looking at anything, Joseph. This is my world, and I walk on my feet, and I do all right. You're seeing them evil dudes across the street, so you're going to go get wrapped up. What if somebody bent that corner, family? What if they bent that corner and lit that whole corner up and you, your, your dumb found itself going to go up over there being with that evil and be laid out and chopped too? I don't think so, family. I don't think so, brother. You better be looking. You, I told you. I'll be looking for the devil all down the down. He got his for the hush, hush. He's the devil. He got his damn binoculars all over again. He got his communications with the fellow saints and they talking about me. You damn right, devil. I told my homeboy. I told, I told my brother. I seen him down the street. You might not want to go there. What did my brother say? I'm not going down there. You seen the devil down there, Jehosa? I seen him down there, brother. I ain't even going down there, Jehosa. Good looking. I, brother, I'll keep on going that way. And then the next time I see my brother, he hit me up on the other cell. He hit me up on the walkie-talkie. Jehosa, Jehosa, Jehosa. I just spotted the devil. He, he right here on Peach and Olive. Oh, I, ain't, I was just about to head over there. I ain't going over here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going over there, family. You can get it. Two, family. Can get what, Jehosa? You can get it too, sister. Can what, Jehosa? Wit. B. Okay, a prudent man foresees evil and he hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. When the Lord heard. Okay, look, look at Jesus, family. He hid from evil. You didn't think Jesus was hiding, huh? You didn't think he, when, when, when Jesus, when Yeshua heard that John went to prison, Jesus got on. You know what I'm saying? When, wherever he was going, he was like, we're going to Capernaum today. We're going to Capernaum. No, we not. We, no, we ain't going to Capernaum today. You heard what happened to John? Yeah, I heard what happened to John. Oh, no. When Jesus heard that they put John in prison, Jesus went and hid, family. Why? Because the devil was looking for him, family. You can get it too, family. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no different, family. You ain't no different, family. When the Lord heard they killed John in prison, he left. He hid, family. He, when he heard that they killed John, he went and he hid it, family. He heard it from way down the street, family. That was like a seven-day walk. He's like, man, I ain't walking down there so they can lock me up in prison too. It is not my time yet. So once more again, what does the scripture say? A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple man pass and are punished. 
Okay, I feel real comfortable. I can put my initials on that once more. It's 326-24. Family, who are we going to vote for, family? Family, is y'all mad at me? It, the, the reason why y'all don't subscribe and the reason why y'all don't support my channel is because I told y'all I don't like Obama. I don't like him, family. I don't like him, family. I'm sorry, family. I thought that he would do stuff for black people. I watched him through the whole eight years. I vote for him two times, family. You can't tell me nothing about Obama, family. But check this out. I'm a real African-American. I'm a real so-called African-American. I'm a real Hebrew, family. Uh, if I was the president and then the people came up to me, they was like, Jehosa, we're going to give you. And, and remember... I, I lived, I lived right there by the Obama building that they're building right there in uh, what is it called? I really don't know all the names. College Park, it's something like that. Downtown by downtown by the uh by the by Lakeshore Drive, cause that's where I where I used to stay at Lakeshore Drive. It, it was a beautiful family, but um, I'm getting besides from the fact, but. Is that the reason why y'all mad at me because I don't like Obama? I'm a real Hebrew family. The people that came up to me, they would be like, okay, Jehosa, you are outstanding, man. You won the Nobel Peace Prize. You was the first African-American president. We want to give you $100 million in a building for you to have your name on it, and it'd be the Obama building. I drove by that building 365 days, family. And I was just so ashamed of Obama. I don't like him, family. They would have told me that. They would have been like, well, Jehosa, we got $100 million for this building and put your name. But I would have told them, give me the $100 million and I'll get 100, I'll get 100 million black people off the street. How about, how about I buy uh, 100 houses and give them to black people so they don't have to be on the street? Mm, how about I bless a gang of black families with thirty to forty thousand dollars so they can help them and their family the husband and the wife and the children i would rather do that than have my name on some damn building yo ooh, i want to say i want a sharp rebuke but your punk ex-president gonna sit up over there and he gonna fly out all to them all them countries all around the world apologizing for what america has done to them and that coward never came back home to America and apologized for the things that America have done to so-called black people. I can't stand Obama family. I stand on it. I've been saying that ever since 2008. I'm not bagging down. I'm not going to turn away from it. He's the sorriest president that I have ever seen for as a black man to black people because he done nothing for black people. I would have took that hundred million dollars that they gave him for that building and gave it to black people. And maybe we wouldn't be at the bottom of the totem pole of people if, if we got a little bit of help. I watched all them cowardly things that he did. So y'all still mad at me for what I said about Obama? Am I the only black person that lives in Chicago that don't like Obama? Well, damn it, I'll be the only one here in Chicago that don't like Obama. Just like when I was in California, I didn't like Obama. Don't like him, family. He showed more love to the LGBTQTDR community than he did y'all, family. He really did, family. He catered to everybody else but black people, and he's supposed to be a black man. He is not black like me. I stand on my word. I never retract that. I, even if I met, Ob I, if Obama walked by me, I looked, I wouldn't spit on him or nothing like that because respect because he, he still a God made him. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't spit on him, but I wouldn't be running up over there to sit up there and be like, oh, it's President Obama. Can I get your autograph, Obama? Can I get a picture? I wouldn't want nothing from that man. Stay away from me. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from me. And you and Obama, if you hear this message, you can't own you can't earn points over the over the fact. Just because you could come out with a movie showing what America has done, that don't mean nothing, family. That doesn't mean nothing. Barack, but I will tell you this, when you sit at your butt in the White House, in the White House, you had Yo, you had eight years to write any executive order to help black people and you did nothing. My people, they could turn their back on me because I don't like you. I still stand on my word. I mean that, family. I mean that. Is that why y'all don't like me? Is that why y'all don't subscribe to my channel? Is y'all still got a little vindictive nature because I don't like Obama? I, I like his wife. I do, family. I like his wife. She cool, family. She did something, family. She was out doing something. She did more for American people than any other um, president's wife. 
in history, family. She was out there, family. She right up there with Ronald Reagan wife, family. She is, family. She was doing a whole lot, family, for black people. Okay, okay, okay. I'll leave it here. Now, when, the, when God tells me to come back, hold up, hold up, hold up. Which ones do we have to go over? Okay, only you can stop. Okay, it is... Ah, 